back with no delay and uh, let's see I think we're just gonna be doing some uh, some laddering I've got a uh, little standard mage deck that I've been uh, running up badminton wondering why you've been so quiet this stream Good question. <laughs> good question. Watson's finest. Good to see you, man. And uh, so, Poker Mindset Coach, have you actually tried? Uh, have you ever actually tried playing Rust? It's crazy. I should play a little Rust today. It's a uh, server reset. So much fun. Uh, HSNO control. What's my highest ranking? Uh, four. I've never made it to legendary. I don't really play a lot of constructed. I just started after I saw that Negroni made it to legendary. So I was like, uh, maybe I should make it a legendary. I think I can make it a legendary. Pretty good start for uh, for this little mage deck, you guys. Hmm. Let's go with the babbling book. Not too shabby. kind of interesting. Do we play the Sorcerer's Apprentice in a mirror image? Um, I or a Mana Worm in a mirror image? Or we could just ping his 3-2. Get set up for a, a Sorcerer's Apprentice Arcane Explosion next turn. I'm not sure. What's up, Worst Ever Poker? Good to see you. You know what? I actually have a uh, an all-in magazine article. Let me see if I... Uh, yeah, there's the link right there, Worst Ever Poker. If you want to click on that, that's a uh, it's an article I wrote for All In Magazine about bankroll management. I think we're going to go Mana Worm, Mirror Image. Runs out on me. Runs out on me. And yeah, worst ever poker. It's not really a, a big secret that uh, uh, I've been backed by um, uh, Cliff Josephy for quite a while. Hmm. Let's get that flame walker out. Take out his slime with our uh, mana worm. I feel like that sounds all right. Otherwise, we're playing a sorcerer's apprentice and doing nothing else. So worst ever, I also have a pretty good staking uh, staking article. <laughs> Let me see if I can. It's on uh, it's on DutchBoy.com. Let me get a uh, a link for you here in a second. Yeah, if you're if you're curious about how staking works and how staking deals work. There we go. There we go. Someday I'll be just like you. 
And I think we just do another Sorcerer's Apprentice. Play that Arcane Explosion. Take out the one, two. Hack a hand, you know, I've never played DayZ. I've heard good things about it. <sighs> what do you think? Just, uh. Me? Trade and hit him for three. Mr. Gambler, good luck, man. I hope that you do. And it seems fine. Have a little flame strike action going. I wield the power of black. Firelands portal is five four. Book out. What do we see? Ice Lance, freeze a character who was already frozen, deal four damage instead. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess freezing is, uh, Draconid Crusher isn't such a bad idea. Let's do it. Scream, yikes. Well, I think that we're going to end up playing this Yogg after all. I don't know if, um, I kind of feel like saving the Archmage is uh, not really what we're trying what to, do. to do. What to do? But if we play him, then... Well, we'll, we'll still be able to uh, take out the Nomash Hell Scream, I guess. So Leave let's go ahead and trade. Trade for that. And we're pretty much just setting ourselves up for a Yogg uh, next turn. Pretty much unreal. I mean, it looks like uh, it looks like we're pretty well behind this game, so we're going to have to um, uh, persuade by asking. So we got three outed for a pretty big chunk of our stack, and then uh, didn't get away from Ace Four against Ace King in a blind versus blind uh, uh, situation. Might we have gotten away from it? Probably. All right. Restore 8 health. That's not what we're trying to do. At least we uh, drew some cards, though. That's not horrible. Give your weapon plus 2. Take control of an, min of an enemy minion. That's good. The Yogg worked out pretty good there, you guys. The Yogg worked out pretty good. Charge as you take out the 10 4. Why not? Plays his Draconid Crusher, and this is gonna be yes. so pretty lucky. Versus Rexa. 
Let the hunt begin. You asked for it. Worst ever, there's always going to be a tournament that's too big. And no, you're not losing money in the long run by uh, by being staked. If you are, uh, if you're playing tournaments that you wouldn't otherwise play, then uh, it's a it's a pretty good deal. You know, read the bank uh, read the bankroll management article because a lot of the things in the bankroll management article have to do exactly you know have to do with staking. You know, there's like I said, there's always going to be a, a tournament that's too big. If you've got like Let's say that you have a, a two hundred thousand dollar bankroll. It's not really good bankroll management to be uh, playing a bunch of ten k events. So you, uh, you know, if you want to play those events, you you get staked. I think we're gonna get rid of our water elemental here. An HSNO control, pro HS player back in 2009, early 2010. I didn't even know that Hearthstone was uh, was around in 2009. I don't think it was. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. March 11th, 2014 was the initial release date of Hearthstone. So, maybe you're talking about something else, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a pass. And you know what? I think I'm going to take a pass here, too. Uh, teapot, generally, you know, good bankroll management would say, uh, about 1%. 1% of your roll. No, I didn't. I serve the fire lord. Wow, that was pretty awesome. Um, let's see. Does that mean you're staking every turn you play, or just the expensive ones? Uh, no, I'm not staked in every tournament I play. Are you staked online? No. Is your staker the main event leader? Yes. Okay, what do you think about Arcane Explosion? Mirror image. Hit him for two. Good to see you, Iceman Kiwi. Weird, so Iceman Kiwi, I can't whisper back.
I don't know why. Uh, let's go for Arcane Intellect here. And now I... Yeah. We'll go for uh, an Arcane Missile. And let's get another mirror image out. Yeah, this flame, this uh, flame walker's done a lot of damage. Uh, flame waker, this flame waker's done a lot of uh, a lot of work this match. Pretty soon, guys, I'm going to have to start keeping a little uh, spreadsheet. I think once we get down to about uh, single digits, well, once we get to rank 9, I'll start actually keeping uh, track of what kind of decks we're playing and what our win rate is against those types of decks. Try to uh, crack into this meta. I must protect the world. You asked for it. So Teapot1011 says, is your poker bankroll usually your life savings or net worth, or is it just money put aside for poker? Well, if you're a professional poker player, um, usually it's just going to be your your net worth. Yeah, that's the truth of it. Because if you lose your poker bankroll, you don't stop playing poker and keep on, you know, build your bankroll again in, a, in an, you know, some sort of non-poker job. Um, but if you're if you're not if you're not a professional poker player, then you, you really should have, you know, have a separate poker bankroll from, uh, you know, from, from life savings, net, you know, net worth, retirement, whatever. But, you know, the, the, the practical answer, though, is that if you're playing for a living, then um, you, your bankroll usually is your net worth. Dr. Fro, highest I've been so far is uh, rank four. And Mike Diamond, good to see you. Good to see you, Mike. Uh, poker didn't go that great tonight. Well, we could coin into the Sorcerer's Apprentice, play a mirror image. I guess maybe just playing it next turn is all right as well. Let's just wait. We'll keep the coin. HSNO control. That uh, Hearthstone deck tracker. Not familiar with it. And this is the same thing as Overwolf, which is uh, pretty good. Let's get that Sorcerer's Apprentice out. We'll play a, a free mirror image. How about coining into a water elemental? I feel like that sounds all right. So Mike Diamond, I, I hope that your your feeling is a good one because uh, I think my next session is actually going to be tomorrow uh, at the win uh, at the win main event. So the win poker classic is going on right now, and uh, I think I'm going to be playing the main event tomorrow. Sixteen hundred dollar buy in. If uh, things go uh, piss poor in that, I'll probably play on Saturday as well. Okay, Darnassus Aspirant. Let's 
Let's go and see what we get with this babbling brook. Arcane intellect, pretty good. And do we take out the Darnassus aspirant, or do we take out? Do we, uh, or do we hit him in the face and freeze him? I, I don't really know here. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. So worst ever. Um, there's a lot of good areas in Vegas. Uh, I would check out Summerlin. I would check out the southwest part. The only uh, places that I would really stay away from are uh, North Vegas. Gosh, I don't know. I think freezing him is all right. Okay. You guys think take him out? He loses his mana crystal. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, I'd stay away from North Vegas. I'd stay away from. Uh, I'd stay away from a uh, uh, place down. Uh, you know, some parts of downtown can be kind of sketchy. Some parts around like Maryland Parkway can be sketchy. Anything um, behind the stratus? Anything. Anything by the stratosphere, the stratosphere is pretty, pretty like really sketchy. If you can, if you can like walk to the stratosphere, uh, or walk to Palace Station, probably not a, a good place to live. But uh, Henderson's great. Yeah, there's even par parts of downtown. Like uh, if you stay, if you if you want to like stay over at the Ogden, for example, I, I hear that that place is just awesome these days. It's expensive these days. Hmm. Let's get a babbling book. Transform a minion into a four-two. Pretty good, uh, pretty good result. Tonight, a tale of the land serves me. Barnes? Uh, I, I don't know why, I just don't really like it. Not really my favorite card. Does he do any minion randomly then? It's not really a great unless you have it only set up for that one card. Let's go with the blizzard. Set ourselves up for a uh, strong flame strike. He pulls out uh, one of the minions that you already have in your deck. Just any minion, random. Yeah. So it's only good if you base it on that one character, the 1010, and spells. Honestly, Barnes wouldn't be such a bad uh, addition to this deck, Michelle. Barnes would be okay for this deck because all my minions, I, I you know, are, are good to have out. You know, the the, the Flame Waker, the Water it's Elemental. Water there's a lot of them, like the uh, Archmage uh, Antonidas, are, that you know, just great to have. So he's just good because he can just pull out. An, an additional minion, that's it. Correct? Let's and do this. The, and he has the... Well, I... I think, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a pretty good... Yeah, it's a pretty good four drop. Just a 1-1 a one, one minion, they say. So it's only a 1-1. One, one. It, well, it turns the minion into a 1-1. One, one. Oh. Hmm. Well, that, yesterday when you were playing that guy, he turned into a 1-1, one, but did the 10-10 ten, ten come out, or did he put the 10-10 ten, ten out? Maybe I was confusing. The card that he pulled out, mm -hmm. that they, they pulled out a copy of a card, yeah, yeah, yeah. was uh, was 
a minion called your charge mm -hmm. where it pulls out a minion from your deck. So, oh, so that's he played pool? Barnes. It played a 1 1 version of that minion, which then pulled out the 10 10 version of the minion. Oh, whoa. Mm -hmm. So he was, like that. He has a weird crazy. little. Uh, oh, okay. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that, that's a pretty cool. That's a pretty cool come up for that dude. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Man, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I guess Firelands portal the 8-4 and see what uh, see what comes of it. Kind of like the idea of uh, of freezing him now too. Yeah, so we freeze them because we want to keep the uh, summoning stone. What to do? Got some flame strikes here, which are going to do some uh, some pretty good damage, and give uh, and give us some big ones. Okay, so he has your charge. Yikes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm alright with that. That Did seems alright. Uh, no, I cleared his board. And I'm I'm all right with that. Is That's it bad? no, it was good. He had a ten ten and like a uh, because it, it, I pulled out this thing called Acid Maw, where any time a minion takes damage, you destroy it. Shh. Oh, yeah. wow. oh, I the good stuff. Is that a new card? That it would have been s no. Um, let's go ahead and get the Azure Drake out here, see what we can pull. All right. Gosh, I'm kind of tempted. Kind of tempted to see where, uh, that Arcane Missile goes. Let's try this. Let's try to Fireball and hold our breath. There we go. I can deal with that. Man, this guy has some pretty big moves. <coughs> What's up? Yeah. This is called Yasara. Yasara sucks. Yasara makes dreams. Isn't she right. part of the dream realm in Warcraft? Yeah. Is it her own dream card? Oh wow, she does suck. Mm. Fuck, that's a lot of hit points. Alright, I'm gonna make a latte. Okay, I'll see you later. Do you want half? I was about to ask. Did you want it? I'm gonna make eight. Okay, I'll have I'll have a, a yeah, latte eventually. Yeah, Appreciate that. It's 
pretty funny, D Wolf. Not quite how that. Uh, <laughs> not quite how that calculation uh, uh, works, but um, we took him out. What was the one that you took out? Ragnaros the Fire Lord, which does eight points of damage uh, at the end of uh, at the end of his turn. Or I, th I think maybe at the end of every turn. It's just uh, it, it, he was gonna he was gonna give us some uh, some real problems. We already have real problems. This guy Brandon. I mean, look at this. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all other characters. He's got such a uh, such just like a, a a powerhouse deck here. Okay, dream return a minion to its owner's hand. I'm all right with that. Can deal with that. Get a mana worm flame strike. Take out his uh, Baron Geddon. Yeah, we don't really have a very good uh, good response to this Yasara, which is probably going to be dead. <laughs> That's pretty much right, D Wolf. This guy is pretty much, uh, pretty much dead to aggro decks. But late game, it's pretty much, it's pretty much over. Just have to hope that I uh, pull out a Yog. Or you know what would be all right too? A uh, a mirror image would be fine. Play that Archmage. Play the mirror image, and uh, if we can just have one turn with uh, that archmage, then we. Uh, and who cares about Yasara? We'll just take him down to uh, zero health. Oh my gosh! Look at that. It's so sick. Gonna need some help here, guys. He's got lethal next turn. It's not gonna do it. ZAS to F Unreal. I'm not conceding as long as, uh, as long as we haven't played our Yogg. <laughs> you know, like, we have that one last, uh, one last out. Um, but this is frustrating. What's he, uh, what's he taking so long for? Come on, do it. My magic will tear you. I guess, uh, that's how long it takes him to count to nine. deck there Brandon man I bet his gold per hour is pretty low with that deck Jaina versus Jaina you asked for it oh it is on all right, mirror match. Let's get rid of the flame strike. Let's get rid of the Azure Drake. Mana Worm Frostbolt looks pretty strong. And yeah, I'll Hello. go ahead and play the Mana Worm turn one. Why not?
H is the no control. Yeah, it looks like a. To me, it looks like a uh, tempo mage. So here we go ahead and frost bolt him. Take him out for free. Katona thinks it's a uh, grinder mage. Alright. Destroy minion. Add a random minion. Okay, I can deal with that. Let's get that flame walker out. What do you think about coining arcane explosion? Face of Summoner, not too shabby. The menagerie is for guests only. Taunt, draw beast, something murloc. All right, how about? I feel like a flame strike is coming next. I'd kind of like to keep our flame walker out of it. So let's do it this way. Flame Waker. That's right, Shorty. It's not a Flame Walker, it's a Flame Waker. Flame Waker. Maybe we should have popped that water elemental down instead of hit him in the face. Dr. Fro, I'll check that out. Vicious Syndicate. I haven't heard of that. Ewing, going deep for some sort of win. Some sort of way to prevent the uh, the win right here. You win. Well played. <laughs> D Wolf asking, "What is Vicious Syndicate?" This is the first time I've heard of it too. So icy veins, Vicious Syndicate. I guess uh, they track some. Uh, they track games on the on Hearthstone, and they have uh, meta game reports. So basically, what percentage of the uh, the meta game is is mage decks, you know, shaman decks, where the meta is going? Uh, if you're trying to get to legendary, which uh, Jane, what decks do you out. figure to be running into Victory over and over and over? Monster. You asked for it. Let's keep the arcane missile. I like a good arcane missile. Okay, frostbolt. Bunch of arcane missiles looks pretty good. What say a spider lord? Play. 
here. Now I wish I would have tossed the arcane missile. Seems pretty, uh, pretty optimistic. Well, we're optimistic people here. It would just be awesome if he doesn't have an answer right now for the, uh, the flame walker. GG. Let's go ahead and get that uh get that frostbolt. Job's done. Okay, so no, it's not actually a game. But it's looking alright. Okay, so he's got a bash. We're gonna be able to pull that Azure Drake. And we're just getting all sorts of, uh, like, at this point I feel like we're in pretty good shape. We'll see what he does. He's building some armor. I'm alright with that. I don't care if you build armor. Um, what do you think? Pop another Azure Drake? Maybe Mana Worm, Arcane Missile, Babbling Book. Yeah, let's keep the Azure Drake, I guess. What do we get? Polymorph? Okay. What's up, Pippin? Good to see you, man. So he plays a shield block. He's got that shield slam. More armor. Get rid of that armor. Play a five cost minion. <laughs> yes, indeed, Pippin, it was a good night. It was a good night. You missed the uh you missed the craziest run I've ever been on on uh, WSP.com. Let's get uh let's get that Azure Drake and play again. So H is a no control. You would, you won't, um, you won't actually uh, draw a card because it's not, it's not, doesn't actually count as a summon. But even so, I like, uh, I like getting rid of his armor. I mean, he's got some sort of uh, deck which is pretty heavy on armor here. So oh, Kai, thank you for the. Uh, Good looking out. Gosh, what am I doing? I wonder. Let's 
go for we'll go for a freeze here. We got nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we've got lethal next turn if he doesn't have anything. He's got ten cards here. But if he doesn't have a way to take a uh, take out my board, it's over. Okay, acolyte. Armor's up. No idea what to do here, guys. We freezing him? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess we just pass our turn. I'm gonna agree with you, Doctor Fro. We just ignore it. We're not playing a flame strike to take out a uh, an acolyte. I don't like this execute. Welcome to the grand tournament, champion. Really, he gets to pull that off twice. That's kind of lame. All right. Draw some cards. Uh, draw some more cards. Not sure what to do now, guys. Good trade, good trade. Your mother is here. Try this. Let's try playing the mana worm. Blizzard. Hit him in the face for one. Job done. No time for games.
one's out on me. Yeah, I don't know. Job done. I was thinking about maybe just playing the Arcane Explosion to uh, pump up the uh, the spell count. Feels pretty lame. You require my assistance. Aha! Job's done. Bell count a little bit more. We have six cards left, you guys. It's good to see you, Game Master. Okay, so uh, let's fireball. Let's fireball and let's play that mirror image. What's up, guy? Yeah, don't let me down. That's not what we're trying to do. Choose a minion. All right. Deal four damage to a minion. There we go. Deal five damage. Choose a minion. Change a minion's health to one. Give a minion wind fury. Get some damage to a minion. What's the last card? I don't know. I don't think it's gonna matter though. So the Yog Saren, J. Rigoni, what it does is it, it it casts a random spell with random targets for every spell that you've cast this turn. Or the this game.
And then uh, if it kills itself by like what you just saw happen, it just changed its own health to one, and then it did two damage to itself, then uh, it stops casting spells. So it can definitely be a game winner. You know, like uh, the last game that we uh, we played where we played Yogg, it won the game for us. It cleared the board. Uh, it, it, you know, the one before that, it mind controlled my opponent's ten, you know, whatever. So it, it's it's one of those things that you play when you're when you're behind in the game, and you don't really have an out, and you're like, I'm gonna lose this unless something crazy happens. So you play Yogg, and you just cross your fingers and hope that something awesome happens. Sometimes it does. Hold on, guys. Gives us. Oh, that's pretty good. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. Someday I'll be just like you. Breathing Frostbolt, the one five, and then, uh, Take him out? I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like keeping that Firelands portal as a turn 5 portal. And if I, I think that if I take out his 1-2, then uh, he death coils my uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Mortal Coil. Because like, he doesn't have Mortal Coil. He doesn't have Mortal Coil. Okay, if you say so. If he has Mortal Coil, though, here, Kai... I'm going to be really upset. Buying or selling. <laughs> Gosh, he's got Dark Peddler. He could pull the Mortal Coil right here, right? No, nope, Dragon Egg, that's good. All right. Um... Five, six, seven. Wow, I'm really tempted just to hit him in the face or... Uh, For five here, hmm. and just start like trying to jam him here. I kind of like it. Yeah, let's do it. Five points straight to the face. Faceless manipulator. That's not what we're trying to do. Now, all right, let's draw 
some cards. Kind of weirded me out, Game Master. What do you guys think? Another Arcane Intellect? Or just uh, take out the 3 2, take out the 2 2? strike next turn we go for mana worm firelands portal my shield for Argus Stick with the plan. Where shall I strike? Okay, so he trades. flame strike. Well, maybe not. Why do you yeah, flame strike? Flame Waker Flame Strike looks pretty good to me. Got this, you guys. You win this time. Feels like a premature give up there on his part. <laughs> Jane! Yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna challenge you after this. Victory or death! What's you up, preacher? Oh, did you know you had the og, really? Ah. Uh, you got a hard guard to put in your deck. No. 
Let's keep the Flame Waker. We'll keep the Arcane Missile here. This looks like a pretty good start. So we Mana Worm and then maybe Coin into Flame Waker? Wow. He just doomsayers the mana worm? Gosh, this what is going to be an do. irritating deck. Alright. Seven points of damage. I'm just trying to do uh, three points to Ravaging Ghoul. So now we don't have a good turn four unless... Seeker. Get that Azure Drake out. Yeah, Game Master, I don't think I don't think two flame strikes is really gonna do much to us uh, for us in this match. Drake out again. Slam. Slam into execute? Is that what he's doing here? Shield slam? Time for a water elemental. And how about a frost bolt? Let's just freeze him. Job's done. I think we just flame strike. <laughs> Try to keep him frozen. Shield slam. Yep. It's such an irritating deck to play. It really is. My magic will tear you apart. Truly is. What's going on, uh, Moab Slayer? What oh my gosh! Do? Just kick lighter. Uh, hopefully your dad is not still there, right? <sighs> Just 
freaking irritating. I think we keep the Sorcerer's Apprentice in our hand. I don't really see much of a point in even playing it. Kick ladder, no, they gotta, they gotta leave. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's a bad idea. I mean, is it already touched down? Oh my gosh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Good luck. You know, my thoughts are definitely with them. What do you think about mana worming, sorcerer's apprentice? Unloading our uh, our hand into what to him. Do? What to do? Let the pain speak to me. So, so Sparky, what you want to do if you're new to Hearthstone? Are you kidding me? Just played his own Yogg? Amazing. I don't really know why he would do that. I mean, yeah, I think he messed up. I mean, he, he was very well ahead of us. So why would, uh, why would he play a Yogg? I mean, he's super far ahead. He's got all the, uh, you know, he's got tons of card advantage. He's playing Control Warrior, and he plays, <laughs> he plays a, uh, yes, it was a mistake. Job done. My hand is full. Okay, so we're gonna play Yogg next turn. We don't really have any other uh, other options here. Snipe. This guy's getting huge. All three animal companions. Job's done. frustrating little deck to play against it really is just like what's the fun in playing this deck I, I don't know control warrior it's such a boring deck
<laughs> it's, it's pretty much right, HSNO. The fun is not letting your opponent play Hearthstone. <laughs> About right. Another fucking brawl. God, this guy. So weird to me. Armor's up. Have a good night, Poker Mindset Coach. It's over. I'm out of cards. So he's got seven cards versus our whatever. You know, I feel like that was a mistake on his part. So let's go ahead and blizzard. What to do? What well, to do? Fireball, blizzard. Maybe just fireball, fireball, ping. Let's do that. Let's see what he's got. Four legendary cards. Battle cry, okay. Gains two armor. We blizzard. Ping the blood hoof. Do not push me. Stop the 
blood. I'll take all the blood. Push me! It's not going to work though, Balf, because of that. It, it's not going to work, Kai, because of the Balf. GG. I fucked that up. Maybe we're able to win if, uh, if I don't mess that up. I'm supposed to hit him in the face with this guy first. So that way we're, we're freezing his warrior. I think that maybe we win that if I didn't mess that up at the end. We're supposed to hit him with a 3-6, hit him with a fireball, and then hit him with the water elemental. Freeze his face so we can't do the uh, the weapon damage. I think that would have won it for us, guys. I think that we just met... Uh... Yeah, I wasn't sure, Kai. I, I, w I was thinking that maybe it would freeze, uh, it would, it would freeze him. I, I figured that it would at least freeze one of them. Um... I, I didn't know it wouldn't freeze him if uh, both was in play. Because it's like, okay, so when, you're, when your hero takes damage, both takes it instead. Why wouldn't Water Elemental freeze both? It, I mean, it should freeze somebody, right? I guess not. Uh, close game. What do you think, Mana Worm? Maybe Frostbolt next turn? Or just Babbling Book It? Yes, H is to no control. Thanks for clearing that up. We know that now. Spells are fun. So fun. But yeah, that, that could have been our game. All we needed to do was uh, leave him frozen, and I'm pretty sure that uh, the fatigue damage uh, does the trick. Me? Spells are fun. So fun! Killamoo just subscribed to the stream. Hey Killamoo, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that uh, that sub. Definitely appreciated. Let's get that water elemental out. By the way, Killamoo, besides uh, uh, the emotes and uh, and the uh, spells are fun, so fun. Let's see. Is there a reason? 
Yeah, you know what? We're gonna get rid of it. Besides the emoticons, besides uh, you know, like the the, the the normal sub perks that you've come to expect from uh, from Twitch, we got a couple of other perks, a couple of fist bump patches coming your way, and a download link to Tonight, my book Poker Tilt. I'm not sure where it is. It's gone. It's gone. All right. Frostbolt, the Arcane Explosion, Me? hit him in the face, and I think that we keep the Ice Block, I don't really see much point in playing it right now. Job's done. HSNO Control, yes you do man, if you sub you do get the, uh, the, the book Poker Tilt, here it is. It's a uh, digital download link though. Not the, uh, not the paper version. You know what I'm kind of thinking, guys? I'm thinking let's just go ahead and freeze it. And, uh... Not trade. We can flame strike next turn. So he lightning storms. Now I wish that I would have just traded. Um, hmm. Yeah, thanks, Kilimu. Really appreciate it, man. And if uh, if there's anything I can do for you, please uh, hit me up. Dutch, DutchBoy.com. Guys, I have no idea what to do now. I mean... I I'm really kind of uh, sick with myself for forgetting about Lightning Storm in every single Shaman deck. HSNO Control, also subscribe to the stream. Thank you so much, HSNO. HSNO. Yes, indeed. Poker Tilt. Got some pretty good reviews, too. Um, hopefully you enjoy the read. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and battle and book it. Let's see what we get. Got a, I've got a plan here. Maybe it was a bad idea because we had that Archmage. We could have gotten a lot of, uh... Fuck's sake. No. God. Ugh. Brutal. Could have gotten a, a lot of fireball uh, power from those My little tiny spells. So Ace Deuce, three, four, five, Raz. The best thing you can do, man. Jesus, why does he keep on pulling that healing totem? It's horrible for us. The best thing to do. Yeah, Inspector Dan's right. First off, what I would do, Ace 2, 3, 4, 5, Raz, is download the uh, the app. It's free. You can play it on your computer. You can play it on your iPhone or your iPad or your uh, Android or whatever. Twelve. Why does he have so much health? Mm, plus one, plus one for each of your totems. Oh my gosh. Hmm. 
Okay. So we're gonna play that Archmage. Gonna get that Mana Worm out here. Gonna get a Mirror Image out. And uh, we're gonna hope that he doesn't have another uh, Lightning whatever. Maybe the move would be to Archmage into the Ice Block there. <sighs> Maybe. So yeah, download it, start playing it. There's a bunch of, uh, the onboarding process is, is really nice. You know, it teaches you how to play. There's a bunch of these little solo quests that um, are going to teach you how, you know, how everything, uh, you know, how the mechanics work, and then, uh... Jane versus Anduin! The light shall bring no, victory. So. You oh, asked you for it. Right. Then that work. Oh. Yeah. Tell them there's, oh, don't be telling them that there's a lot of free, uh, solo... Yeah, I just don't agree, H is a no control. I don't think that you need to drop any money. I mean, I, I do feel like you you are probably better uh, better off buying the uh, solo adventures and trying to grind up the gold. But, you know, playing it? Arena, playing the uh, the Tavern Brawls, and, uh, you know, getting gold with the daily quests seems like not a bad way to go. Hmm... You know, guys, I'm real tempted just to to coin and frostbolt that Northshire cleric. That can uh, that can really mess us up what to do if we don't take care of it. To do. Also, babbling book, coin, mirror image. What to do? What to yeah, let's go ahead and just get rid of that guy. An, uh, an ignored Northshire cleric can really mess us up, and he could uh, start pumping them up with, uh, what was it, Power World uh, Health or whatever it is. I don't really feel like letting that happen. Um, all right. Kind of thinking, uh, just ping him. Seems all right. Try to keep uh, keep this priest from having uh, having cards on the board. Next turn, babbling Let book and do something. Babbling book, mirror image. Let's see what the, what the uh, running mage card is. Dragon's breath. Yeah, we're not gonna really be able to play a flame walker now with uh, an acolyte of pain out. Do you like to play with fire? Ugh. Take that one shields. Take that one of our uh, one of our mirror images. We're gonna get that water elemental out. So Moab Slayer, I made it through uh, somewhere into day two, and the main event is over except for the final table. So they're down to nine. Uh, yeah, the way ESPN works is uh, kind of like how you would expect it to work back in the '70s where they record everything and then two months after it happens they show it. I don't know why they do that. 
get a lot of uh, my gosh. We're gonna have to get rid of that uh, Northshire cleric right now. I think we're just gonna Dragon's Breath him. Mirror Image. Maybe we should have pulled that Mirror Image, uh... Maybe we should have held that Mirror Image for the Archmage. Uh, his Azure Drake for now. Oh. I don't think I can keep on ignoring it. When we hope to top deck a flame strike, I guess. So HSNO control. Um, did Michelle? What? Did you happen to send out uh, to HSNO control? So HSNO control. What you're going to want to do is check your your Twitch messages, and uh, you should see uh, a little message from uh, from XMO, Michelle. Oh, it's from me. Yeah. It's from me. Uh, with a link to the uh, download link to that book. Wow. Uh, D Wolf forty seven, did you check your Twitch messages? I'll send another one after this match. I guess not. You require my assistance. Did you just subscribe or something? I thought D Wolf subscribed a while ago. Yesterday? Maybe I wasn't on. Oh, he runs out on me. Aha! Wow, that was pretty good. To D Wolf? Oh. Just because he deleted it. <laughs> just because he deleted it before uh, before he opened it up. Uh, XML sent, just sent another one, D-Wolf. Um, Ace 2 3 4 5 Raz, 
I, I didn't read those Negroni comments, but if uh, if anybody honestly thinks that raising the rakes at all levels would help the games, they're, they're idiots. <laughs> HSNO is saying he's not seeing it either. He's not seeing it as well. Uh, so, I don't know what he's doing here. Wild Pyromancer after a uh, Blood Mage seems kind of weird. Uh, yeah. Uh, make sure to make sure that you're following HSNO control because otherwise it might end up in the, uh, in the Twitch spam messages. Oh. Well, I guess doing nothing is uh, is an option as well. Yeah, check your check your other messages. Um, if you go to twitch.messages, let's see, twitch.com forward slash messages. And then, uh, let me just make sure. Twitch.tv forward slash messages. That should bring up your message box. Nope. Never mind. That's, that's not what you're trying to do. Like if you go to the messages. Forward slash messages forward slash inbox. Hard to see, but there's an other. Yeah, if you click on other, it might have just ended up there. Looking at my outbox, and I'm seeing HSNO control and D-Wolf and Kilimu. Yeah, those uh, those welcome emails got through. So, either click on that link, or click on this link. One of those should get you to the uh, to the message where it says, Welcome to the crew. And Unreal, look, man, I don't really think that there's much of a much of a comparison between, you know, raising taxes being good for the economy and raising rake being good for the poker economy. You know, with, with raising taxes, the idea is we're all chipping in to actually do stuff. You know, the the the, the money that's taxed doesn't just uh, go to a bunch of casino executives. Um, and casino shareholders, which is what ends up happening with the uh, the rig. I know that you're being a little bit tongue in cheek there, uh, but you know my bleeding heart liberal ass couldn't let you just get away with a statement like it's the same thing as raising taxes is good for the economy because I happen to think that raising taxes would be good for the economy, um, at least if they're raising uh, raising those upper bracket taxes. Let's get rid of. With a shaman, I think maybe we keep the arcane explosion. Eh, we'll dump it for now. This looks kind of fun. Babbling book, another babbling book. We'll see what we get. Spellbender. Meh. We've been ranked 14 now for like seven games. <laughs> Play another babbling book. Just hit him in the face for one. This 
This is when we hope that he, uh... Feral spirit, that's not what we want to see. Think about another sorcerer's apprentice. Any reason not to? Someday I'll be just yeah, let's like do you. this. Let's get that mirror image out. I get one of his two three. Let's see what we get first. All right. Let's get an arcane explosion out. Let's get that arcane missile out. Get the spellbender out. Seems kind of silly, but, uh, I mean, shoot, what else are we going to do? Get the water elemental out here. And, uh... What to do? What to do? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're supposed to just start pinging him in the face. Instead of falling more oh, things. Let's just start pinging him in the face. Fourteen for a little while. It's been like, it's been a little while. Ago. We've been we've been ranked fourteen for a little while. But you know what? One more uh, one more match. I think we're, we're gonna be uh, ranked thirteen. <laughs> yeah. If we win this match. I'm almost. Jaina versus Taranda. 
You will give me strength. You asked strength for fight. it. What's the hardest one to fight, Dutch? Not it. I think we should keep the arcane missiles against a priest. Probably not. I think we should probably just dump everything. Okay, that's not bad. Hello. And yeah, let's go again. The let, let's get the mana worm out here. Wow, I didn't know HSNO control. You actually think that you, you should keep the water elemental against priests at four drop? It is finished. Oh. Well, there we go. Boom. Win streak, bonus star. I believe that puts us at uh, rank 13. We did it. <laughs> we did it. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Seems premature, right? HSMO control. Okay, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Frostbolt, Arcane Intellect. Seems all right. Let's keep them. <laughs> D Wolf. Why, man? Why would you want to? Uh, why would you want to drop ranks just to get matched? If you want to play a match, I'll play with you, D Wolf. I actually have the uh, the, the friend quest too. I'd be happy to uh, take you on with something. Tunnel Trog coins, uh, lightning bolts. Is that what you're gonna do? No, he's going to, he's going to uh, not do that. Interesting. What do you guys think about playing a Sorcerer's Apprentice right now and playing a mirror image? Hmm. Otherwise, we Frostbolt the, the Tunnel Trog. Yeah, let's just frostbolt the tunnel frogs. Runs out on me. Job done. Get that mirror image out. What's the uh, command for? Uh... Oh, it's Blizz, isn't it? Hey, Michelle? It's, it's Hearthstone. 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 It's hearth, Hearthstone. Okay. I do that too often. There I am right there. Uh, uh, somebody changed hmm. it. It used, to be, it used to be Blizz, but somebody changed it. You should change it back to Blizz. I think that's a better one. Let's add another one. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. I can change it. Okay. Here. Let's 
start adding some combs. There we go. So, kind of thinking, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Arcane Explosion. Take out the, uh... Flame Tongue Totem. And that sets us up for a really nice uh, turn six flame strike. This is going to be a nice flame strike. Sparky got you on here. Totem. And what else do you do? You can nothing. Alright, let's get an Azure Drake out here. Spells are fun. So fun. Kind of feel like we should probably uh, hold on to our spells. Um, not that much D Wolf. I got a uh, thirteen hundred, maybe. Okay, let's see what the babbling book brings us. Frostbolt this guy. Alright, nice, uh, nice trading. So yeah, I'm thinking uh, Flame Wake or Blizzard, right? Hmm. I think that's the play. Hope for a little bit of luck here. That's a lot of luck, actually. That was uh, that was pretty perfect. There is a lot at stake here. So we flame strike. Arcane missile. Just trying to hit him once, man. Just one time. There we go. There is a lot at stake. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and just polymorph this guy.
That belongs in a museum. What did you just do here? I have no idea what to do at this point, you guys. Kind of thing an archmage it a trade uh, with the thing thing from below. Time runs out on me. I you require my assistance. We could do something like this. That's pretty good. Um, so, then I guess we just go this way. Get him for three. Well, we'll have lethal anyway next turn. Did I? Did I just give up lethal? Did I mess that up? <laughs> did I just mess that up? I think I just messed that up. That's alright. Alright, so we've got a lightning storm. It messes us up pretty good. So far, he's uh, he's messing us up pretty good here. Job's done. Is that a fire elemental? Pull that a freaking removal? Are you kidding me? This is getting frustrating. This is getting frustrating. Fuck it. Pretty good. Nice job, Yogg. <laughs> he will 
Fair and <laughs> That's awesome, Unreal. Yes, Yogg Saren is the uh, is the Fox News of the Hearthstone world. Fair and balanced. That's pretty funny, Sparky. Good to see you, man. What is that? Four hundred, four hundred thousand mega bonus spin. What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what the four hundred thousand mega bonus spin is. I like it, man of worm. Frostbolt turn two, coin Flamewalker turn two, or coin Arcane Intellect. I th I think that this looks just fine to me. I'm gonna go ahead and keep all of these cards. It's a great start. What does he play? Spirit Claws. All right. Well, let's just hope that you don't uh, have that little one one. he play? He's thinking. Probably clicks the totem. Hero powers it up. Hopes for a spell damage. Ah, Jesus. He does spell damage. <laughs> ah. Pretty irritating. Let's play the book. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. I have no idea what we're supposed to do here now. Turn three. Are we just gonna play a flame, uh, flame waker? Lose it. Lose it to his spirit claws and lose it to his three four. Uh, coin into a water elemental and lose it. We could always just frost bolt. Frost bolt, bolt is uh, his three four. Then we don't really have uh, a good play for the turn after that. I think this is what we're gonna do. Arcane Intellect, get some more options out. So then, uh, turn five, maybe we go ahead and Flame Waker uh, and Frostbolt three four. We'll take a little face damage. It's gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. And at this point, now let's go ahead and get a flame waker out. Let's go ahead and coin. Let's go ahead and do it. Portal. 
can live with that. Five points of damage. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. Six options for it. Let's do it. How perfect was that? It's completely cleared his board. That was pretty lucky. That was pretty lucky. Did you we can get a little some lucky sometimes, though. Totem. White sure what you're looking for. Thing from below. Right. So I think what we're supposed to do here, take out the O2 first, polymorph this guy. And I guess take out the 1-1. One, one. I guess that's what we're supposed to do. There is a lot at stake oh. here. Looking kind of sketchy. Looking kind of sketchy. What do you think about just flame striking? Sets us up pretty good for a uh, what for another do? flame strike. We've got do? two of them. <laughs> D Wolf, I'm glad you're liking it. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you giving it a read. something here um, okay first off let's go ahead and Azure Drake I guess see what we pull yeah. blizzard that's pretty nice and now I guess uh... now let's arcane missile Because it might, it might change our plan here. Does that change the plan? Do we not arcane intellect now? Yeah, I think that changes the plan. I think we just go ahead and take out our, uh, take out his two one. Manatide totem, alright. Another totem. 
you and totem. Oh, uh, and he has a hex. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that blizzard out. Yeah, I think we better get rid of that old one. Hey guys, at this point, let's do a Firelands portal. Play that Arcane Intellect. Job done. There is a lot at stake. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Sick. Maybe we're supposed to take out the uh, healing to totem here. What to do? And ping the taunt. Or maybe we're supposed to just play the water elemental. I don't know. I don't know. Time runs out on me. I wonder. Get that water elemental out of here. We'll keep the frost bolt so that we can uh, turn it into a, uh, a fireball. With our archmage here. God. He's really fucking us up. Okay, so I think what we're supposed to do here what to do what to do and we're uh, we're kind of down to the wire here um, arcane explosion this guy uh, I feel like that's what we were supposed to do. 
we're gonna need to pull uh, some small spells here. Gosh. Oh my gosh. No. All right. You require my assistance. <sighs> it's a pretty close game, you guys. You just kept on having answers to everything we threw down. Damage. Some of the random He has a single direct damage. He's just fucking us. Yeah, nice. GG. So D Wolf, that's the problem, right? You, that's the problem with making the right read <laughs> about what an opponent has. Is uh, you also have to know what he's gonna do. And I made the wrong read as far as what he was gonna do. I think it's another control uh, control warrior. He only had to draw one card. Maybe it's Pirate Warrior. I kind of like that uh, that Pirate Warrior deck. Playing the Bloody Hook turn uh, turn one. It's kind of cute. So D Wolf, I was uh, 22. 22 when that when uh, that event happened. For the Life Binder. Right. Interesting. So, Dragon Warrior deck. Let's hope to get a little lucky here. We did get lucky. Arms up. I'm fine with that. Arcane Elect seems like a good turn 3 play. Oh. Done. And water elemental on turn four. That could be pretty bad for a uh, for a warrior. He armors up again. He doesn't have a play. That would be awesome if. Uh, Okay, so we Twilight Guardians. I guess now we Flame Walker. Reason. Exchange. charge going on. Flame Walker, Arcane Explosion. Eh, I guess we can keep the Arcane Explosion. I was 22, yeah. Pretty sure. I'm sure. Not 
They'd be thirsty. Back to work. I think we might have to rely on uh, Yogg here. I wield the power of Black So tempted. <laughs> so tempted. Job done. <sighs> Gore Hal takes out the uh, Azure Drake. Shields up. Is that what he does? That's probably what I do. Control, uh, control warrior for the win. Let's see what we can pull out. Get a frost bolt. You know what? I kind of like it. Just a Got a uh, four, five go. Darkshire Alchemist, and it's just crazy. Job done. So disturbed. Generally, you shouldn't buy packs with gold. If you have gold, you should be uh, spending it on arena runs. It's definitely better than. It's a, it's definitely a better value than. Uh, Go. It's definitely better value than spending uh, the gold regular one packs. Well played. Arena runs, D Wolf. That's what you want to spend it on. Now 1425 gold. Hey, by the way, any of you guys want to uh any of you guys want to uh play a quick match, I have that uh I have that. 80 gold reward if you want to. First, uh, first challenge, man. First challenge gets it. <laughs> Squidly. Here we go. Um... I got a silly pirate deck. I'm gonna give a give a try here, Squidly. Oh, is that right? Is that how that works? I have to actually do the request. Is is ESTF Unreal saying I'm not gonna get gold? I'm gonna get gold now though, right? Because I made the request. Valera versus Madiv. Let 
the games begin. It's a pretty cool avatar. I want that avatar. I don't know why we have yogg Saren in a rogue deck. I'm sure it made sense at the time. The pleasure is mine. Flame mark, pretty good. Pretty good card. Here we go. Waker, not a walker. It's a flame waker. I don't know why you guys keep on calling him a flame walker. That's a flame waker. Dodge, dodge and weave. Nice, uh, nice job there, Squidling. Looking that good against Squidly. He's playing a uh, pretty nice, looks like a tier one mage deck, and we're playing a, uh, a homebrew. Okay, so let's get the Buccaneer out, pull out a weapon, and make sure we deal. Want a deal? That's a fun card. That's incredible. All right. Trust the pirate's cold. I feel like it's just asking for a flame strike here. So here we we'll keep go. the shady dealer. Yo -ho -ho. It's a Magic. Okay, a cult sorcerer, definitely tempo mage. Playing the frost bolt. Arcane missile, nice job. Damn guys, we're uh we're we're pretty low right now. 
Want a deal? <laughs> this guy's Here we go. Like two fireballs in this over. Definitely could have been worse there. Ooh. Let me get that South Sea deck hand in. It's working pretty good against me, Squidly. So I like I guess I I would have to say I like it just fine. Hey, lights out. Beating up my uh, beating up my rogue homebrew pretty good. You want it? Okay, I discovering want. a spell. So Squidly, hopefully you're not watching. Hopefully this Yog Siren comes as a real surprise. <laughs> hopefully this comes as a as a huge surprise. Ooh. So we could betrayal. Hmm. Play a little Perdition's Blade. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. Deal four damage to myself. Discard a card. Play as a minion. Wizards. Destroy all minions. Keep the Yog. Boo. Boo. Wanted. <sighs> okay. Yog has failed me, man. Yog has failed me. Well played. Well played. I will be your death. Okay, 80 gold. Thank you very much for the game, uh, Squidly. We'll play a little arena run here. We're laddering this month. We're not. A, we're not playing arena. We're laddering. I'm gonna play uh, just one more game, guys, and then uh, call it a night. Yeah, good game, Sparky. Thanks for the. Uh, thanks for the match. Gina. Versus Aleria. Tremble before the night yells. You asked for it. 
Oh, what the hell was that? That was kind of cool. Uh, okay, against Hunter, maybe we're supposed to keep our cannon explosions. I don't know. Ah, let's dump him. Keep the arcane intellect, though. Not sure, you guys. Coin into a sorcerer's apprentice. Then maybe we can uh, do an arcane intellect turn two. Let's try it. Someday I'll be just like you. Job's done. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty wrecked, Sparky. Very wrecked, Squidly. <laughs> Super wrecked. Uh, yeah, let's just do what I can. Maybe we get lucky there. Nope. Me? I think he'll, uh, he should be exchanging for us, right? Uh. And turn three. What do you do, Wicked Jester? Fiery Bat. That flame I serve out. the Fire Lord. He's Russian. I don't blame you. Okay, got a good shot. Wait right with that. This is gonna look good. Flame Waker, Frostbolt, whatever he plays down. Face. I don't blame you, buddy. Let's get that blizzard out. What to do? What to do? <laughs> Gonna Such be able to do some the uh teeth I have. Such the teeth I have. Hmm. What 
to do. What to do. Interesting. So I think we're supposed to go ahead and play that water elemental. Pop is is uh his hyena here. Oh, did we miss an attack, Doctor Four? Jeez, it's pretty bad. Okay, so we're gonna be able to get uh some pretty good value out of this uh, this Azure Drake uh, arcane explosion. Looking pretty bad. Tonight, a tale of long lost words. Okay, I can deal with that. Okay. Come on, Yog. That's no, not gonna matter. Nice hand. Ah, uh, Sparky. I don't know what you mean. Try your deck. Um, if you mean, do I want to? Roll with Tempo Mage. Uh, not really. I kind of like my Mage deck. <laughs> uh, I'm doing all right. <gasps> You're 13. Oh, look at that. Yeah, level 13. You're level 13. How long did that take? Did you just hit it? It took a long time. Let's throw the fireball. Let's throw the water elemental. Greetings, traveler. Sparky, please, please don't make me regret playing you, man. What do you think? Coin into a flame waker? I feel like that sounds like a good move. Otherwise, we're, uh... Babbling book. 
This one? This is a this is a Leoc. So what it is is it's a Hunter has this animal companion, kind of like the uh, one like the well, one of the top the picks. Card. Summon a random beast, and this Leoc gives your other minions mm. uh, plus one attack. Okay, let's go ahead and arcane explosion. We'll go ahead and uh, trade the mana worm into him. I, you know what? I guess we're supposed to actually hit him with. No, we're not. We're supposed to arcane explosion first, right? Yeah. Job's done. Tonight, a tale of long lost words. And he pulls a uh, Savannah. Nice job. Nice job. I'm pretty strongly about not even worrying about him. What to do? What to do? What's up, Jay Ruffer? Good to see you, man. Don't even worry about him. Hmm. Everything is good, bro. Everything is good, bro. Except being, uh, except being wrecked and humiliated by uh, Sparky's Temple Mage deck. Everything is good. <laughs> it's the only thing. It's the only thing that's uh, that's. That's making things not so good. No, Squidly, you're not being bullied in chat. Who's bullying you in chat, Squidly? D Wolf is bullying you in chat. No one's bullying you in chat. No one's talking to you in chat except for Sparky. Gosh. All right. What to do? What to do? Arcane missile. Get him in the face for three. Um, uh, mirror image. Job's done. And ping is knife juggler. Mad we zag, good to see you, man. We're supposed to Kabbalist's tome here. What to do? What to do? See what we can pull. Yeah, that'll work. So next turn we blizzard. I love you, Squidly. It's not, it's not you winning. Okay, let's go with our blizzard. Wait a minute. So I think that we're supposed to... Ah, shit. Is this gonna work? 
counting outs here. What to do? Scavenging what hyena is gonna get do? big. You're just being really irritating, Sparky. That's all. You're just being really irritating. You're just kind of like you just you're just kind of irritating me. It's not you. It's me. Did you just leave him? Nah, I just muted him for a little while. So let's blizzard. Cause he, he's irritating the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't know why. You won't, you won't watch me, chat. Kept on messaging me in the game. He's like, "What's wrong, man? What's wrong, dude?" And it's just like, it's just irritating, dude. It's just irritating. Okay, so I think what we're supposed to do here. Gosh, we're really close to. Uh, to lethal here. I wonder. <laughs> oh man. Now I'm in trouble with my girlfriend. That's great. I'm supposed to just do this. We take out his eight, and uh, I mean we've got a pyroblast here, so Job done. yuck! Is that gonna do it? No, no, because we have the uh, the blizzard. I don't think a pyroblast is gonna work, and if he's got that uh, well single played. direct damage, it's over. Yeah, nice. Hand. Oh, two call of the wild, brutal. No! GG, where an eco? Okay, guys, that's it for me. You all have an awesome night. Probably gonna be playing the uh, Win Classic main event tomorrow. If we get in, uh, up in time for it. By the way, D Wolf, thanks for the uh, the sub. Guys, make sure to follow the stream if uh, if you're not already clicking on that follow button. And uh, no, I, I, I'm not I'm not playing anybody else. X more. We're not. I'm not doing any more games tonight. Not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not accepting your challenge. I'm not accepting anybody's challenge anymore. And uh, J Ruffer, you have a good night. D Wolf, you have a good night. Sparky, you have a good night. No, I'm not scared, X and Wah. Oh jeez. <laughs> gonna have to I'm gonna have to mute X and Wah for ten minutes too. Give her a little time out. <sighs> Good to see you, whiskey. <laughs> D Wolf. <laughs> Next time I guess, man. Put, put it in the uh put it in the OZ category. Gosh, you know how, how many people think I owe them stuff? <laughs> Do you <laughs> Hey D Wolf, thanks for the uh thanks for the uh the sub by the way. I hope that you enjoyed the book, man. Yeah, but saying first doesn't doesn't count. You know, you, you didn't even have me as a friend on uh on Hearthstone. You, you, like I, I said the first person to uh to challenge gets the uh gets the quest. But you know what? I I'll, I'll, I'll play an eighty grand uh, an eighty gold one with you, D Wolf. Next time I get it, if you're around I'm not even going to say first to to, uh, to uh, challenge. I'm going to say it's you, D-Wolf. It's you and me. But doesn't he make the 80 gold, too? No, gold? no. He, 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 it doesn't work that way. What? Why? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He says, I called first. I'm, I'm never letting you live it down. <laughs> you should play just 
one bit. It's just one game. It's my it, like it's my eighty gold quest and it's gone now. But you can still. Play no, it. I'm not playing anything. I'm done. If I'm done for the it, night. Yes, I can. Play. Well, he you can challenge him. You challenge him to the game lose. of wits. I will lose. I'm not playing anybody. Jay Ruffer, I'm not playing anybody. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you here in Vegas. I'm actually getting really tilted right now. I gotta go before Why? I lose my shit. Why? I'll talk to you guys. <laughs> I'll talk Why? to you guys later.